Hello my friends, it is now Wednesday, the third week of Advent, and the title for our devotion today is The Advent Way. We're going to take our Bibles and we're going to open them up to Psalm 27 so that we can read verse 11 together. So Psalm 27, 11, go ahead, press pause, get your Bible all set up, have your finger on the verse that we're about to read together, and then do read it with me. If you, in this one time moment, don't have your Bible handy, no problem. I'll read it for us, okay? If you do have your Bible, we're going to read it together right now. Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me on a level path because of my enemies. Hmm. Long before Christianity was called Christianity, it was referred to as The Way, capital T, capital W. For instance, if Saul found any belonging to the way, men or women, he would arrest them. And we learn that in Acts 9 verse 2. This name is deeply rooted in the Old Testament, where the way of the Lord is frequently mentioned. A way is literally a road or path. To go the way of the Lord is to walk with him and to be led by him. Faith, in this sense, is never a static thing, but always moving forward alongside God to a destination. The Advent way is the way in which we walk with him who, by his own confession, is the way, the truth, and the life. And we learn that in John 14, 6. He is in us. He is to our left and to our right, above us, beneath us, behind us, and always before us. Christ is our way. He is our beginning, our journey, and our destination. Let's pray. O Alpha and Omega, our beginning and end, teach us your way that we may walk in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Oh, I love you so much, friends, and I hope that that brings you a great deal of comfort. You know, I don't know exactly what season of life some of you are in. Some of you I do have a pretty good idea of. But those of you who I'm just not quite sure of, just to remember those comforting words that he is always with us. He goes before us. He's behind us. He's to our right and to our left. He's above and beneath, and he is in you. That's right. Isn't that so comforting? Oh, I hope that it is. I love you, and I'll meet you back here tomorrow. Bye.